Welcome to the Garmin InReach Mini 2. This of course is an SOS emergency tracking beacon. So once this is set up and you have your money paid, flip the safety bar out the way and it's a quite a tight fit. So you're not going to accidentally open it or press it because it just closes and pressing that button in there will activate 100% the emergency services. So don't press that button unless it is an absolute genuine emergency because if you press that button someone will come looking for you. Now you can see that it's a very small unit it easily fits in the palm of your hand and this unit basically has six buttons you will commonly use four of them the on off the sos button you have an ok button here top right you have a return or back button bottom right sometimes you will long press the return button and then on the left you have an up button and a down button. And it really is a pretty simple, basic, you know, unit to use. It does hook up if you so wish. Check out my other video to your Garmin watch. Typically, it is always connected to the Garmin Explore app. So this Mini 2 hooks up with Garmin Explore and you can do all your messaging from here. You can do your check your weather here, tracking. And of course you have the emergency SOS button here as well. So again, do not go pressing that button unless it is a genuine emergency. You can set up tracking here. I've turned off the interval timer here because I I have the basic subscription and if you upload tracks via satellite they charge you know they will charge if you go for one of the more expensive data plans then tracks either every two minutes or ten minutes depending on the plan are included and you can check the weather here as well if you press the OK button obviously the return button just takes you back to the main screen so from here, you can send a message, you can send a preset message, and these are free. You can send these to an email address or a phone that you previously set up, and you have three presets. When you finish this video, please pop over to my watch channel and check out the preset message that I did using my Fenix, i.e. from this. You can start tracking and this will track your walk without uploading anything to the satellite. So this in itself won't cost you anything. You can stop tracking, you can share with, and obviously if you share any of these, then you will be charged for that share. And you can go into settings. Here you'll see I have the send interval off, but you can turn it on and you can change it to 10 minutes, 20 minutes, depending on how often you want it sent up to the satellite and that will largely depend on your subscription that you have set up with Garmin. Activity recordings and you can do auto track on and off. I would only be turning that on if you have one of the higher Garmin plans that you pay for otherwise you'll probably end up with a very big bill. You can stop tracking you can use this to take you back to the start. You can save it or discard it. And that would upload eventually free of charge when it synchronizes with your phone. You can navigate with this. So again, once you've got this set up, you can 
and synchronized with your phone, it will synchronize many routes, tracks, courses on your phone. So you might find waypoints on here that you've previously set up on other devices in the Garmin Eco system. You can use trackback if necessary. Realistically, use your phone or watch for navigation. And of course it will, because it's synchronized with Garmin Explore, you could if you want to mark a waypoint. So if you don't have for some reason your phone or your watch with you, you could mark the waypoint of exactly where you are. You could do that, you could go down to edit details and of course you can change the name. Or you can use one of these preset names. Here you have your contacts. So you can add a contact from here. This is where you have your service plan. So you can test the service here. So before you go on any trip, press OK and then press OK to begin test and then press OK again, sending test message. I believe you get five free test messages a month waiting for a response. This might take a bit of time. Okay, while we're still waiting, we'll just go back. You can see here plan details. So I have the Freedom Safety Plan, which is an unlimited SOS, 10 text messages, unlimited preset messages, data use. And then from here, you can also get an update as to how many messages you have sent. And then you can come down to settings. This is the same settings that we accessed earlier via a different route. Sounds, mute, all. Volume high, ring until read off. Message received ring, message sent ascending, critical alert chirp. Power off. So you can have different noises, map. Show waypoints, waypoint labels, track points, messages show, orientation track app. Of course you can't get mapping itself on here, but you can use it as a rudimentary breadcrumb thing. You've got your phone, you can see it's connected, connected devices, and you can pair to the phone here, in reach remote. This is for pairing with a Garmin GPS unit. And then down here you have system, so... Here you can change the backlight, I put it on 50%, time out 15 seconds. You can calibrate the compass here, you can set the time for a 12 hour time zone automatic. Or you can change it to US, US Alaska, Arizona, Atlanta, and then you have a lot of different... You get the idea. Units. Select format then press OK, then you can scroll down to the UK Ordnance Survey system. Speed and distance I've got on kilometres, wind speed I've got miles per hour. You can tell I'm a 1970s baby because half the things I have in centigrade and, and metres and, and other things I have in miles and inches. Temperature Celsius, you can change that to Fahrenheit if you want to. Pressure I've got on minibars. GPS only, you could change it to multi GNSS if you wish to, USB mode, screenshots off, so you could do a screenshot. Press and hold the up button and the OK button at any time to take a screenshot. I think a screenshot is held within the unit, get the screenshot off the, have to connect it to a computer. Export to GPX, so all waypoints, activities, courses. Again, realistically, this will be done via your Garmin Fenix or Epix watch or one of their other watches. This is where you could reset the device and software update. Okay, and then if you press the up and down buttons over on the left, this is where you can see your messages. So you can see there are no new messages. You could send a friend a message from here. Just above navigation, you can access tracking on this side as well. Top right, enter navigation. The first page is your position. Ignore the words Bleak House. 
the second page is the compass and the third page is your coordinates and height. From here you could press top right, you can navigate to track back, courses, activities. You could also use it to track you to a waypoint and it will get you to a waypoint which you already have in here. Realistically you'll be using your phone or watch for that type of thing. So we'll have a look at the weather. So when you go to weather you can press OK to update the forecast. Press OK. Select a weather forecast to update. So you can have basic, premium, all applicable usage char or charges will apply for press OK to get a new forecast. Yeah, so you do have to pay for this service. Location, 19 degrees, feels like 19 zero rain temperature maximum 21 minimum 11 wind 10 10 miles per hour northwest friday saturday sunday monday wind speed is not given on a daily basis from the first day of your new forecast press top right to access 24 hours or 48 hours depending on premium or basic and we can have a look at the weather on here as well so you can see that it's showing the speed the wind direction and the chance of rain tomorrow it gives you the hourly forecast until five o'clock and then it gives you the weather for sunday Monday. I'm not sure how accurate this would be if you were say you know in the Lake District or something like that if it would give you an actual mountain weather information because you notice it's giving you 21 kilometers away forecast. So you can see here that the basic is a 24 hour detailed forecast, four daily summaries, cost one message from plan. The premium is a 48 hour detailed forecast and then eight daily summaries. But realistically, if you're in the mountains, then probably a 24 hour is going to be you know sufficient because it will probably change quite a lot so i hope that you have found this little video helpful and informative we've gone into quite a lot of detail but i do hope that you know you have found it useful so if you've got to this far you especially have helped this channel and this video and i thank you for getting to the very end the most thank you i will see you in the next one if you've got any questions or comments please put them below and i will do my best to help answer them